PT? I think that's you. PT? Are you awake? Is this Staple yeah. talking? Yeah. Can I come Can cl I come closer? Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. What does this mean? Ah! She's having a dream. <sighs> Pete S Staple is a deer man. Oh, it's a deer man. Oh, that was a dream. What on earth <sighs> was that dream about? Could that have been Staggle? Oh, it's Staggle. I'm sorry. So he's a stag. He's yeah, a literal yeah, stag yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. It's never even occurred to you before. Could you and Staggle? Is oh. this game going to be about like discovering your 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 furry tendencies? I I don't know. Looks like That'd you be logged quite in. a game experience. <laughs> It looks like you logged in last night before bed and have been online this whole time. Oh, shit. Good news. Your download of Lauren Hill's doo-wop has completed. It's a 320 kilobits per second copy. Very high quality. Oh, shit. In the year 2000, that's, yeah. that's a luxury. Your email is mostly spam. Uncle Howard sent you a dirty joke on the 30 forwarding layers. <laughs> There's a <laughs> no doubt concert happening 50 miles away in July. <laughs> Sick. All right. You spent long enough pretending to look at other stuff. You peer eagerly at your buddy list. Oh. Strife uh, cloud. Away messages. Holy <laughs> crap. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kate Sith. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Strife and, Cloud. And, and Strife Cloud, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you stare breathlessly. What should you do? Yo, I just had a dream where you are hugging me. Send him an I am. Oh dang, you didn't wait. Hi. Hi. Here we go. Nice, simple greeting. No punctuation. No implied eagerness. Oh, God. The torturous play-by-play -play of dialogue. Continue. He'll surely be replying any second now. Oh, no. You're going to get ghosted? He's probably not even at his computer. Maybe this was a mistake. Oh, no. What kind of weirdo bombards people with messages the instant they log on? You feel sick to your stomach. He's not replying. Oh, shit. No, it's not. It's not your problem. Hi, PT. How are you? Ah! It's me, the handsome deer in your dreams. It's getting ready for school. It's, you know, bad. <laughs> me too. How's the weather where you are? Just fine. I wish I could stay here and talk all day. Uh -huh. After hitting send, you realize how much you mean it. Dang. Oh, man. That hits this hard. It's taking me back a little bit. Yeah. This is taking me back, like, kind of hard. <laughs> okay, everyone. I'm going to... Back in high school, I used to stay awake to, like, 4 or 5 a.m. Uh, just on Yu-Gi-Oh! forums. <laughs> and just playing Yu-Gi-Oh! online with people. Because I was like, uh. school sucks. <laughs> School's boring. That's well, my play. experience is actually a little more, like, closer to what's happening here. I used to spend um, ungodly hours talking to certain people, mm -hmm. people I wanted to impress. <laughs> oh, boy. Me too. Want to talk later tonight? Your stomach leaps. Tonight. Yes. Tonight. Yes, you bet. Talk to you then. Smiley face. Bye. Close and log off. Oh my god. Oh, I should... I, oh, let me get out of here. I gotta go to school. It sucks. Damn it. What? What? Okay. What are you... Timothy is in front of the TV in his pajamas, dashing any hopes you might have had of watching Sailor Moon before school. Damn. That Tim sucks. Timothy's watching war documentaries on the History Channel? What a snooze. What a loser. That's weird for a kid like Why him would you to watch war doing... documentaries on the History Channel instead of Sailor Moon? Come on. And also, like, in the morning before school. What a loser. What a loser. There's so much about this that I can't relate to right now. Your mom's morning ritual is drinking coffee at the kitchen counter. It's also her afternoon and evening ritual. 
Her mom sounds depressed and sad. I don't like it. What are you watching? History Channel. Don't you mean the Hitler Channel? That kind of is <laughs> true at the time, especially. <laughs> don't you have school? I don't. I'm Timothy. <laughs> I'm Timothy. I, I don't, have, don't have to go to school. I dropped out. <laughs> uh. Hi, Mom. Good morning, cheerful. Did you have a good dinner at Simon's? Oh, oh she's she knew. fully aware. Yeah, it was fun. Mom never suspects you're up to anything naughty. She knows you aren't cool. Okay. What if she knew you'd taken one drag of a cigarette last night? Hmm? Cool enough for you now? You're grounded. Are you ready to go to school? I have some errands on the mainland, so I'll ride with you. Uh, I need a few minutes. I need a few minutes. Well, it won't be too long. I don't feel like... Oh, okay, sorry, go ahead. Who feel like sort of across the bay today? Boy, what a chipper joke from mom. Maybe her, your good mood is rubbing off on her. Can I, can I like, explore the island before going to school? Oh, I can. That seems, that seems like a bad idea, given the timing. Yeah, but it also seems like something that could totally, like, work out without issue in a structure like this. Yeah, let's go to... Oh, uh, Simon's either out or asleep. Probably I imagine, asleep. I imagine most things will just not be working. Yeah. But let's, I just, mean, let's just quickly scan through. Because what the other thing was... Um, I guess the main thing to check for is, like, are there any NPCs in different places? Yeah, let me... Let me. Oh, same thing. Okay. Yep. And this island's fast enough, and her walk speed's fast enough that this is fine. Yeah, actually, in that video, I was looking to reference other stuff... Um, they did not mess with the walk speed, and so it's way slower. <laughs> Even, so it's like I, I set it up to two times speed, and it's about, like, it's slightly slower than your speed now. Still afraid of Hitler? Yeah, still Probably. afraid of Hitler. Okay. He's got this weird... Eine Minuten, eine Minuten. He's got this weird... Oh, I should have checked out the nightclub when it was dark. Oh, what a lost I think opportunity. It's just... Actually, I think I saw footage of, of her, of the other playthrough doing that, and it was just still locked. Oh. Okay. Even though the nightclub was open, it's not like she could go inside. Okay. No new wares today, huh? Shouldn't you be at school? <laughs> That's it. Then go back to wherever it is you work, whoever you are. Wait, is there... Wait, uh, the, that lady's gone. Okay. Oh shit. Hang on. There we go. All right. I Into guess. school, I guess. Yeah, I'll go. I'll just go in these clothes. I bet. You ready for school? Yeah, school time. Kawabunga. Kawabunga. Oh. Sure. Let's go. Great. Great. Mom grabs her pack of po pocketbook. What's that? Like a pocketbook? Pocketbook. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what that means. I never heard of that. Oh wow, she's moving again. She's sh moving. Oh, Back he's old enough. Hunted. He's old enough oh. to work. I see. Mm. Oh, okay. So he graduated, presumably, maybe, or yeah. Back to the job hunt today. Yep. If you get a chance, can you put it in the laundry? Yeah, mom, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, mom. Whoa. Well, this is a very loud noise. So you're doing better in science? Yeah. Did you have a test this week? Yeah, I did fine. You studied? I told you, mom, I did fine. She's got to check it on at least. 80. 75. 65. That's passing. 65 is bad, Mara. I'm doing extra credit. I swear it's fine, Mom. Just believe me. I like Mara's expression in the scene. <laughs> You're suddenly feeling pretty lousy. Great. 
But even the mom looks kind of a little like she's got like a di- like a vacant stare. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's a little cold today. I don't like how she's always side eyeing. Yeah, you can go down below if you're cold. Oh no, I'm not. I just thought you might be. I'm not. Actually, the side like this portrait of her looks a lot like um, a character from Steven Universe. Mm. Which one? Um, she. She looks like um, Connie's mom. Okay. And her name is uh, Priyanka Maheshwaran. Oh, okay. I think I actually know of that character. Yeah, she looks like her a little bit. Your father loves sitting up here too. He always wanted to. He always wanted me to look at the water with him, right where you're standing. I can't believe it's been two years. Mom, I really don't want to get bummed out right now before school. Sorry. Of course not. Good talk, Mom. Oh, mainland shit. Hmm. <laughs> All right. New, new map. Hi, Michelle. What are you up to? Hi, Dora. Just shopping on the mainland once I drop Mara off at school. Hi, Mara, sweetie. What grade are you in now? Ten. Incredible. I remember the day you were born. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Well, it's almost eight o'clock, so... I can walk the rest of the way, Mom. It's fine. You'd much rather, of course. All right. Do you need money for lunch? Yeah. Ooh, an animation. Mom that. hands you a five dollar bill. It's about enough to get one slice of pizza and a can of Fruitopia. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty good. Fruitopia. Awesome. Man, I would stretch it. I would just get all the hot, the cheapest hot items. So I would get, um, I would get a hot pocket and a cheese filled burrito thing, and then like this, this like jelly sandwich thing. Now my middle school is all about crazy bread. You want a crazy <laughs> bread with watery ass ranch, a watery ranch, watery ass ranch. They get ranch. they get the ranch and then they water it down so that it'll feed all the children. I honestly think that might have been <laughs> what's happening because it was thin as fuck. It's possible. It's very possible, right? Yeah, this is what school. That school. you can stretch out ranch like crazy. Stretch it also that makes ranch. it healthier by watering it. That's down. true. There's so much less fat in it. Yeah, stretch yeah. stretch that ranch. All right. Stretch it. Hope that's enough. I'm low on cash. It's fine. See you later. Okay, Mara. I'll meet you back here after school. Bye, dear. Petland. Whoa. Oh. Oh, they're doing something together. Wait. Do we already know what uh, Mara's mom does? I have no idea. work? Okay. It's interesting if we can get back to perfect tides from here. Let's go back home. Damn it. Damn it. Can I can we I can't. can I, I can't play ditch? Is that a com is that a Chinese restaurant? Kong Mine or Kong Ming. Oh, Kong Ming is a conveniently located Chinese buffet where you and your family have spent many a Jewish Oh, they are definitely Jewish. Okay. Yeah, they're Jewish as heck. You really love their egg rolls. Only Jewish people would eat Chinese food. <laughs> Uh, Unfortunately, they would dare. (laughs) Unfortunately, the restaurant is never open during school hours. You'd be eating there for breakfast if you could. Oh, oh. I could go for some Chinese food right now. Yeah. Oh, I can. The the stationery store signage is pretty generic. In fact, you've seen this exact sign in a neighboring town. Typo and all. The two stores have no affiliation. Unfortunately, I'm not Jewish, so I can't. (laughs) You have to convert to Judaism. (laughs) You have to convert. You have to read from the Torah before you can eat. You have to. You have to do your bar mitzvah in order to qualify for Jewish. Yeah, you can't just. You can't just. (laughs) You have to have your actual bar mitzvah. Mitzvah. Petland discounts. And the bat mitzvah. Yeah, for the best care of pet you get. The mainland ferry station abuts a small strip mall. On a lazy day, you and your mom will run all your errands here. With its proximity to Beltog High, it's also a popular loitering spot for kids. Beltog. Beltog. What is this? I'm going is in this. Oh, I can go in. Oh, shit. Oh. oh. What's with the world? 
world's best grandpa card. Oh, man. How come this sandwich has a bite taken out of it? I don't know. I like the frame, though. Let's see. This The frame is embarrassed to be looked at. Door leads it's kind of fun, like you're th the frame is displaying a cigarette that was presumably lit and then stuffed back into the box. Yeah, it's weird. You'll that, occasionally that weird. thumb through an, an issue of Cracked or Mad Magazine out of nostalgia. None of the other periodicals appear to you. Oh, what shit. What are you talking about? A small selection be... of adult magazines are lined along the top, all with opaque plastic blocking the action. Yep. That's how it should be. Checkout counter is lined with impulse candy buys, gummy savers, fruit by the foot, warheads, and individually wrapped Tootsie Rolls. You gummy normally, savers, damn. Yeah, you normally splurge on a piece of sugar candy. It's fat free after all, but you're trying to save your money today. Remember how all the Lifesavers commercials used to have like, like yeah. kind of vaguely African sounding? Yeah, Lifesavers. Yum. <laughs> Wait, it was yum. Yeah, yeah. Once you got a free drink from the soft drink machine just by pushing a button, you're still chasing that dragon of a tree. Damn. The upper shelves are filled with cleaning supplies. Mom will pick these up in a pinch, but she insists privately that the prices are unreasonable. They would be in a convenience store. Large shelf contains all the dry goods a person might need for a slight markup above grocery store prices. Many of the items here are old and gathering grime and dust. Bottom shelf is designated for pet supplies. Joe and Sabrina got it in their heads to compete with Petland by being open an extra hour on either end. Oh. Judging by the desk collecting on old bags of cat litter, this may not be worth it. Dang. Sabrina, along with her husband Joe, has been running this bodega since before you were born. Okay, Sabrina, they're calling it the bodega. Yeah, Sabrina is about mom's age and she has a daughter named Cynthia who you do not interact with at school. Joe is a hardened but ultimately gentle sort, the kind of man you are just barely brave enough to approach. He's cool. Joe's cooktop is sizzling with activity. Coffee brewing, fat frying, microwaves milking. What? Miking. Miking. <laughs> Along with Joe's signature list of profanities as the hot surface catches his forearm. <laughs> Soy loco for los cornballs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> uh, a few stale looking pastries live on the countertop along with licorice sticks. Notice about the menace, increasing cost of milk, and a menacing photo of a shoplifter from security camp footage with a caption We will find you. I like the sandwich uh, board yeah. or sign. Sand the sandwich menu might be the newest thing in Joe and Sabrina's deli. You get the sense they're awfully proud of it. You sandwich should be. Offer offerings include a chicken wrap called the Donald Duck, a filet of fish sandwich called the Flipper, and a beef brisket on rye called the Fred Flintstone. Kind of reminds me of Bob's Burgers. Yeah, yeah. Absent from this list is your very favorite sandwich and the one you're currently craving: plain eggs on a roll. Ew. Huh. Just eggs? Not even egg salad? Not even cheese? Not even mayo? Alright. You're weird. Can I pick You're weird, it? Mira. You're... Okay, I'll just talk. Alright. Can I have an egg sandwich? You want bacon? No, thank you. You want cheese? Nah. Salt and pepper? Just plain eggs, please. Whatever you say. Play eggs, Joel. 250, please. Can you put on my mom's tab, actually? Now, here's a clever trick you figured out recently. Instead of, instead of wasting valuable lunch money on food, why not let mom pay for it later? So far, Damn. this trick hasn't backfired, although Sabrina seems to be losing her patience with it. Yeah, all right. One sandwich on your mom's tab. Sabrina whips out a small notebook and adds a sandwich to a list right down under the candy bar and snap what you bought last week. This is clever. Clever mm. girl. Oh, see the eggs? Oh, oh they are. It's shimming. Oh. You eagerly take the piping hot plain egg sandwich. Joe gives you a gruff smile before return quickly returning to his work. Thanks, Joe. Hi, Joe. Joe gives you a gruff acknowledgement with a nod of his head. He does not turn around or say anything. Dang. May I may I eat my sandwich? <clears throat> Wait, hang on. It's a hot egg fried egg sandwich. Despite being already fresh being freshly wrapped, grease has already begun to seep through the wrapping paper. That sounds good. To become a window to weight gain. Yeah. Yo, we know to weight gain. 
Eat it. Gurgling with hunger, you quickly devour the first half of your egg sandwich. You save the second half in hopes of cheaping out on your second, your next lunch. You decide to hold on to the rest of your sandwich for now. Who knows when you might need it? No, you might need to give it like to someone yeah. who's hungry or something. All right, I still have all these foods. Yeah, it's true. You do. Oh, don't I don't know what to do with them. I'm rich with food. Uh, you wouldn't dare go into the back alleyway unless you were invited. Oh, but imagine if you were. <laughs> <laughs> you would meet Paul McCartney. All right, let's go. Let's go in here. Close today and most days. So you're out of luck. All right. Man, I want some Chinese food right now. I could totally go for some Chinese food. Ooh, man. you've got a few minutes until the bell rings. A lot of people are still gathered outside. Oh, God. Peer group. Your stomach turns with the knowledge that you did none of your homework last night. You didn't even bring your backpack home. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I, okay. I still have dreams sometimes where I'm like, oh, man, I did not study for this test. Man. This is going to be bad. I'm luck. I don't think I've had a dream like that in a very, very long time. If I ever have, I like I have one like like maybe like three times a year, uh, and then I wake I, up I don't going, "Thank God, school is no longer an issue." <laughs> yeah, I think I've had like panicky things where it's like it's not that uh, I didn't study for a test, but something else is going wrong in like a college era of my life. Mm -hmm. But. And also, it's like, I don't feel like like panic. I just feel like like kind of despair. I go, oh, okay. Oh, I didn't study for this test. This is going to be bad. You know? <laughs> okay, I see. You don't know this kid's... You think this kid's name is Kev? You don't know him at all. Giovanni is out here having a smoke before class. This is where, pro I'm pro this is where I might show up. It's school. Okay, that spiked hair though is very like oh, yeah. accurate to the time oh, yeah. time period. Like nice oh, yeah. work. Oh yeah, he'll probably also be out here during class and after class. The only thing it's missing is some frosted tips. But he's he might not be Asian, right? Well, I I saw plenty of frosted tips on non-Asians where I lived. Oh, okay, okay. I I, I did I you have a different ecosystem. Yeah. <laughs> uh event. A bulletin board cheerfully outlines all the student events you won't be participating in. I saw the Alolan form of Frosted Tips. <laughs> uh, your Asians were ice type. Yeah, or, or, uh, or our Asians, yes. our Asians are fire type. Yeah. <laughs> See? Uh, oh god, Lily is deep in conversation with some other girls from school who aren't your friends. Christina doesn't have anything against you, but she'll lash out if you embarrass her in front of the group. Keep away. Ashley doesn't like you very much. Best to stay out of her line of sight. The sign threatens that students better not smoke around school grounds. It's covered in burns from put out cigarettes. I want to see if I can talk to people. You don't want to talk to a boy you don't like, you know, without like permission. Do you want sexually active Italian boys to harass you in the hallway for the rest of the week? No. <laughs> Don't talk to Giovanni. No. Wow. Okay. Can I escape? I cannot escape. I cannot advance. You attempt to insinuate yourself into the circle of friends, but it immediately becomes clear you're not wanted. Lily glances at you with some irritation. What's up? Uh, are you taking the ferry back today? Yeah, but not till late. I have lacrosse practice until five. Oh wow, lacrosse. Oh, okay. Having exhausted your first and last conversation point, you stand there in silence. Can we help you with something? Uh, I don't think so. You sure? Something definitely seems wrong. With me? What seems wrong? Ashley and Christina glance at each other for a moment. The kind of clandestine look you imagine physicians share when the patient is inoperable before Ashley betrays a chortle. Her laughter is so intoxicating to the group that you feel the urge to, to laugh yourself, despite the ri rising panic in your throat. Lily oh, coughs into awful. the back of her hand. Her look, at her look in your direction is plainly one of embarrassment. I'll see you later, okay, Mara? Have a good day. 
it's clear Lily has nothing else to say to you right now, and you do well getting away from this group for now. I don't like that interaction. Me neither. There is no treasure that could possibly justify looking like a garbage picker in front of your school. Uh, but now the, the thin film of dirt detaches perfectly from the window, now residing permanently on your hand. Uh, mm. Bell Tag High School is a six-year public school on the mainland. You're required to spend another two years of your life here. Damn. Okay. The raver kids barely hang out with anyone at the school. You imagine they go to some really good parties. Maybe they do. The raver... Oh, these are the raver kids in general. Okay, can I talk to them? What's it say on the lockers over there? It says, go to hell. Um, uh, Timmy? I don't know. Silver, silver Sharpie? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing for Silver Sharpie to write. Yeah. Something, Something suck. suck dick. Yeah. So, okay. This one says gat. Um, it says gay. Oh, it does say gay. It, it, it does say gay. Yeah, you're yeah. right. And there's and there's a a, in, di a dick drawn on a walker in the lower left. In. In in. I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's take. The newer, more spacious lockers on this side are mostly occupied by seniors. But Lily Peters, well liked and connected as she is, managed to score one last year. Wow. What? The door of this locker has been torn off since the start of the school year. It has been picked clean of anything of value. Now, lockers are something that I could never relate to. Did your any of your schools have lockers? We did, but th we were forced to share them. So, um, I think almost every year I shared it with a friend of mine named Amir. Because at the beginning of our... He, like, came up to me and was, like, at the beginning of freshman year, and we did not know each other. And he was like, mm -hmm. okay, you seem like you're fine. Can I just share my locker with you? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I'm like, I'm never going to use my locker, by the way. And he's like, oh, great. I'm never, I'm, okay. I'm barely never going to use it either. And we didn't, like, we barely put anything in there. Um, and uh, eventually it turns out that the group of friends Amir was with turned out to be the same group of friends I started becoming friends with. So we're like, okay. oh, cool. We're all friends anyway. Right. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I only use lockers, like, when doing PE stuff. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. But, like, we did have lockers, but, like, they were all outdoors, which meant that, hey, if you put any books in there and it rains one day, you're fucked. Uh, yeah, it didn't <laughs> seem great. So no one really used them. I'm not sure what hmm. they were for. Uh, Amir used to... The only thing he used to put in was his scooter, his kick scooter. Okay. Um, he put that in there. Um, but other than that, yeah, we didn't really, we didn't really care. Mm -hmm. um, and my parents just bought me a lock for the locker and we just both shared it. And we're just like, yeah, let's use that. And it was fine. Yeah. Like any master dial combination lock is fine. Yeah. Yeah. This locker belongs to Ashley Steinem, one of the most popular girls in your grade. It's been many years since you tried to have a conversation with her. Your attempts have always ended in tragedy. This locker mar belongs to Mary Caputo, an honor student in the 11th grade who's always been nice to you. If only you'd been born a year earlier, you and Mary probably could have been friends. Are all these Kickstarter ones? Maybe. This blocker belongs to a 7th grader, as if being small isn't humiliation enough. He also has to stand on multiple textbooks to reach to the back. Aw, that sucks. Oh no. It's Ashley. This blocker belongs to a shy 8th grader named Rebecca. It is vandalized with an arrow indicating the gayness of its neighbor, you, directly below. Oh, is that her locker? <laughs> I guess so. While you don't think Rebecca drew the arrow or its aforementioned label, she hasn't made any effort to remove it either. Either she's afraid to do so, or equally likely she's complicit in its message. After all, everyone thinks you're gay for one reason or another. Hmm. you never seen anyone using this locker. This locker belongs to Giovanni Lombardi. While he hasn't personally terrorized you much over the years, his presence to just a humiliating moment is just around the corner. You avoid your locker when he's here. This locker belongs to a kid. You think his name is Dave, who's been tormented every second of his high school career. As made, he's, he made the mistake of telling a senior how much he liked Garfield on his first day of class. Oh now no. every time he's in the hall, on the cafeteria line, or walking past an open car window, people inform him that Garfield is dead. Wait, what? He doesn't just stop at his locker anymore. He just runs. Aww. Wait, 
Why, why, why lean so hard into saying Garfield's dead? I don't know. <laughs> Garfield is dead. That's a that's an odd form of harassment. Yeah. This locker always smells. Unimaginable horrors lurk within. This used to be Timothy's locker back when you were both in high school together. You would typically ignore. He would typically ignore you in the halls, which in hindsight is an outrage. You should have been ignoring him. This locker belongs to Stephanie Hicks, a ninth grader who had reportedly had diarrhea for a week after trying anal sex with Brandon DeNaro. Oh, Sources no. for this story are nebulous, but enthusiastic. <laughs> You're not sure whose locker this is. Why? It's your locker. You stash all the books you don't intend to read, assignments you don't intend to do, and food wrappers you don't intend to throw away here. Good. This locker used to belong to Lily Peters until she requested a different one. Supposedly, she didn't like her stu like stooping down to sort through her things, but given its proximity to your own locker, you're still feeling bruised by the decision. This locker belongs to a tall, spitting, angry junior whose name you don't know. His fingers are long and bony, and his forearms are covered in deep pink scars. What? This locker belongs to belongs or belonged rather to a senior named Laura Ruiz who died last year just a week before graduation. The principal made a speech in her honor, grasping to find significance in the loss that most people, including yourself, agreed was in miserable taste. You didn't know Laura, but have told the story of her passing at and the, the fallout from her memorial on at least six occasions. Wow, that's a really specific memory. Yeah, like why was it in poor taste, I wonder? Maybe too embellished? Hmm. The school clock has, has hopelessly stopped that it has been for your entire school career. No, the Lion's odd, Lair is Beltog High's official school store. If it is not sold here, it's not sanctioned by the school. That said, you've heard mumblings of unsanctioned product moving through the lair as well, the nature of which you can hardly imagine. Like what? <laughs> the water fountain here hums loudly from its lonesome corner. Various bulletins for extracurricular clubs, school store sales, and events you don't plan to attend are gathered here. This is the door to the studio art classroom. You intend to have at least one classroom here per semester. Oh, you tend to. Hmm. School store kid is usually nice to you. He's school also, store kid. <laughs> he's also usually high, so you're not sure how intentional his niceness is. Okay, let's, let's talk to him. Ooh, excuse me. How's it going? What do you care? Just, just wondering. Well, I'm counting the seconds till lunch, so unless you're food, I don't want to talk to you. Oh. Are you food? No. Then bye. <laughs> I, I'm enjoying that <laughs> response every time. Let's go in here. Oh. Looks like everyone's already here. The class should be starting any minute now. You notice that your favorite art teacher, Miss Schaefer, is nowhere to be seen. Oh, no. See, this is me in class right here. Yeah, it sounds about right. That's what I did. I did that a fair amount as well. Did I ever tell the like story? Uh, oh, so go ahead. Go ahead. I was just noticing that dark poster on the... <laughs> dark. But I guess that's a dark, room, a dark room for yeah. photography. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Yeah. Okay. This is once when I was in uh, senior year and I was especially sleepy at school all the time. In my AP American history class, uh, I, I was always sleeping because it was like the first class. Mm -hmm. And I'm just tired. And so I just woke up, right? And he was like, Marvin, you got to stop sleeping through, school, through class. And I'm like, but I, I do well on my tests and, what, and do all my homework and whatever. It's fine. And he goes, you know, okay, I'll make you a bet. If on the next test you ace it and you get the extra credit right, you get to sleep in class whenever you want. And I said, deal. And I studied for that test super hard. And then I got a perfect with the extra credit. He was like, all right, deal's a deal. You get to sleep in class whenever you want. I mean, on, yeah, like if he didn't uphold that, that end of the deal, then that would have made him a complete fucking dick. Yeah, I ended up getting so, an A plus in that class because like as soon as he offers it, like that's it. Here's the like, thing. Here's the thing, everyone. His fate is sealed. World history and European history are so much more difficult than American history. America has no history. That's why it's such America's a, such history a, is racism, <laughs> and but very they didn't short. really even teach that in school. Yeah, it's just it's just very short. There isn't that much to teach, which is why it was a comparatively easier class compared to the other AP history classes. 
So, like, you know, that dude in the red keeps looking at me and I don't like it. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Stop it. Fred's eyes wander ominous anxiously around the room. He's probably thinking of all the places he'd rather be. Quit looking at me, Fred. You don't yes, know right. this kid's name. He's pretty much asleep everywhere you see him. Maybe that's you. Uh, <laughs> Justin is staring angrily at a spot on the wall, waiting for the bell to ring. Our class is obviously his least favorite period. Christina doesn't have anything against you, but she'll lash out if you embarrass her in front of the group. Keep away. This kid's in another grade. You think is his name the same is Christina from uh, outside? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Wasn't there an Ashley and Christina we already met? Let's see if I can go outside and reconcile this. Come on. Where is it? There it is. I can just leave school whenever I want. Why not? Oh, yeah, no, it is. It's not no, no, she's not there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it is it. her. You're correct. You're correct, Dan. You're always right. Stop being right. Mm. There's only one classroom in this place. Yeah, <laughs> it's a small school. This kid's another grade. You know, think his name is Michael? All you know about him is he's horrible at studio art and usually copies whoever is drawing is next to him. Hmm. Chris is probably the best artist in this class. He's really good at drawing flames, details, skulls, and anime eyes. <laughs> You've seen this teacher around, though she isn't your regular art teacher. She must be subbing for the day. The door of the student photo lab. Shelf houses student work from a senior painting class. Since the best pieces end up with display in the halls, these are not typically impressive. <laughs> Portable AV console sits in front of class, fully equipped to play educational laser discs. Wow, Whoa, this, school, this school got to have discs? laser discs? Wow, we were what still using weird VHSs. Niche thing. We, we, we used VHSs up until I graduated high school. <laughs> well, I mean, like most people didn't even have a transitionary period or of laser discs yeah most people went from vhs to dvd laser discs straight. are very niche <laughs> yeah extremely so Chuck, i've seen like a total of maybe three movies on laser disc ever i've never actually seen anything on a laser disc I i've just... seen ghost in the shell on laser disc whoa wow the, fir the first movie wow and i've okay. also seen um devil the devil's advocate of all things on laser disc. <laughs> Uh, and I also saw the first uh, OVA series of Ah Megami Sama on Laserdisc. Okay. Or Oh My Goddess. Right. The chalk. That was like the first subbed anime I ever watched. Dang. It was very eye opening. The chalkboard doesn't get much use in the studio classroom, with most instructors preferring to just, you know, shoot the shit. All right. Let me. I'll, let me, I'll try talking to people. Talking would be very disruptive to the sleepy kids' agenda. Let's consider it. Hi, Fred. Since when were you allowed to talk to me? Aw, what a jerk. I wish you could punch people in this game. She's got yeah, she's be... got she's got punching fists. Look at that. Yeah, she they're could do it. Balled up. They're kind of balled up. Yeah. Hi, Justin. What's up, Mara? You got any change? You quickly root through your pocket for change and find nothing. Sorry, no. Justin turns his attention elsewhere. The conversation was over five seconds ago. Did you do the homework, Christina? Yeah, but there's a sub. So I guess you didn't have to. Did you do it? Nope. All right, then. Wow, that's surprisingly civil. Yeah, okay. You have nothing to say to the guy you think's name is Michael. What are you drawing this week? Chris silently previews his drawing, which is a collage of animals with flesh hanging off their bones. It's drawn on loose leaf paper and black ballpoint, and shaded so thoroughly in red ballpoint that the paper is tearing in places. Wow. Remember me when you're famous. Alright, I'll talk to her. Where's Miss Schaefer? She's out for the day. Go ahead and have a seat. Oh, I gotta sit. Uh, I'll sit next to Sleepy Kid. Though on ostensibly the padded with rubber, the chairs make an unbearably high-pitched screech when move across the floor. Oh, I know that Aww. sound. Sit down in the fuck chair. <laughs> Where's the fuck chair? Oh, I wanted to. That's the one I wanted to. But it wouldn't let me. I won't let you sit down in the fuck chair. Is that your desk? Yeah. Oh, that's where it is. What the hell do you want, Mara? Mara? Nothing. I, I didn't say anything. 
Jeez, Mara, can you just calm down? Fred and Justin have been bothering you relentlessly since your fourth table mate, Sylvia, moved to another desk. You're okay with the boys picking on Sylvia since it meant they were nicer to you, but as soon as she got fed up and left, they turned their attention to you. You uh, and Sylvia really used to bad. get along well. Now she doesn't talk to you anymore. What is it about like niche? Like not niche, but like, you know, like those, those classes that are not like central classes, like art classes or whatever. They're always in like electives. This, yeah. They're always in like this four seat formation. Why is that? I don't recall that being a rule for my classes. It's It's been a like ever since middle school to high school, every class that was like an elective class was like this for me. You don't know why. I don't know what to tell you. I, that does not line up with my own experience. Hmm. You and Sylvia used to get along well. Now she doesn't talk to you anymore. Something smells nasty in here. You on the rag? My, oh, jeez. What the hell, dude? Jesus. No, it must be you. As <laughs> you might be right, dude. You're acting like a bitch lately. Fuck you, man. This is what the teacher pops in a video and dims the lights. Okay, the <laughs> film we're watching is called Shakespeare in Love. <laughs> was that was that about right for the time period? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. The hell is that? Uh oh. Oh, there you go. It's oh, about Shakespeare's I, 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 life. It won Best Picture last... Who has you, Mara? Uh, I don't want to hear a peep in this room for the next 40 minutes. I have plenty of PBS laser discs, if that's more to your liking. I knew we should have cut out... We should have cut today. This sucks. Yeah... You're secretly happy, though. You've been meaning to watch this movie. Plus, it's a break from talking with the boys. As the film ambiance sets in, your thoughts drift to staggle. You've had crushes before. Impossible ones. Crushes on people you don't even who don't know you, or who, even more safely, don't really exist. The staggle is real, and he wants to spend time with you. This isn't a fiction of the heart. This is entirely different. This is so gay, man. Hey, Mara, guess what? Mara, check it out. Oh, My dick's no. out. Ew. God. Despite yourself, you peer down to Fred's lap. Jesus. Real funny, Fred. Is that you like that? Quit <laughs> bragging about your pencil <laughs> dick, Fred. <laughs> bragging. Hey, Mara, it's up for real this time. I mean it. Shut up. Come on, Mara, look. I'm not looking. Oh, shit. You better look, Mara. <laughs> God. <laughs> the animation. Yeah. You're gross. Why do you hate my body so much? Is there a problem over there? Nope. Stop getting us in trouble, Mara. Just shut up. She's gonna hear you. Wanna see it for real, Mara? I swear to God, stop. Christ, dude. It's really out. No more games. I'm being completely honest with you. Come on, Mara. I'll kill you if you don't. Ew. Ew! You're right, Mara. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> you scared of it? But no. Don't you like dick? I just didn't expect it to be so small. That's all. Damn. Oh, I mean, you're you're setting yourself up for it, you fucking idiot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Shut up, asshole. I'll turn this off anytime you want, boys. No, no, we're really enjoying it. Sorry, Mrs. Duffy. Man, this class is retarded. It's another brutally long school day. The semester is coming to a close. Pressure is bearing down in every direction. 
Each teacher seems equal, deeply concerned with squashing your free time. Summer assignments are promised, the tensions threatened, extracurricular activities suggested. You just want to be free for none of this to matter. You want it all to vanish like a bad dream. I know that feel, bro. Oh, a cool punker. Oh, hey, punk. Punk. Don't touch him. Just, just look at him. You've def- You've seen the punk around. He definitely doesn't attend your school. You think he's from one district over. If he goes to school at all, that is. Hmm. The punk's friend looks like he rolls with a completely different crowd. The sight of the two of them together is remarkable. Hmm. Let's talk. Hey, what do you call that shirt color? Uh, I don't know. Bright green? Well, it's cool. I like it. Uh, thanks. You're not sure if the punk is being serious or not. He's probably looking for a sneaky way to provoke you. <laughs> she looks at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, maybe it was a compliment? Both seem equally likely. All right. You can talk to this guy. Hey. Hey. Oh, he's Brock. Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess he is Brocky. Hey. Hey, okay. Wait. Did he say that himself? Yeah, I, I tried to click on him, and then he started. Okay. Nice weather we're having. Uh, yeah, so far. Okay. Okay, these guys just seem like... Ch- these like the first normal people. <laughs> yeah, and they're not at school. Yeah. Like... These are just normal, pe- pleasant people. Okay. Excuse me. Yes? Can I ask you a question? You do a quick calculation of whether or not this will be worth it. It's very likely these boys want to make fun of you. It would really help us out if I could ask you something. Then again, you've already looked back and can no longer pretend you didn't hear him. You need to either go over there or say no to their faces. Go over there. Yeah, let's talk to the nice people. Hey, thanks for coming over. No problem. So my fucking idiot ass friend Robert here thinks... I'm right. That the president was fired for getting the BJ. Bullshit, right? You can't help but smile at the punk sincerity. That, and you're a little bit thrilled that you know the answer. Well, Robert's sort of right. He was impeached for lying about the, uh, BJ. You owe me a cigarette, dickweed. But you, uh... Jason. Jason is also right, because he's... And your name? Uh, Mara. Mara. I just realized she might be named Mara because of the ocean. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so Jason's right because he's still going to be president until the next election. Aha, fucker. Who cares about that shit anyway? Are you guys old enough to vote? I don't know, are we? Yeah, 18. Well, thank you very much. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, thank you very much, Mara. You guys don't go here, do you? Fuck no. Just waiting for someone. Then we're going to the house. You were momentarily shocked at how casually they revealed their night to you. The house is a spot where a lot of kids end up on weekends. You can't get there without a car, though. And nobody's ever driven you. You don't even know what it looks like from the inside. Ever been there before? Not for a while. Well, it's always a blast when we're there. Maybe we'll see you sometime. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Well, that was unusual. You wonder if you'll see them again. You better get back to Mom, though. She'll soon be waiting for you at the station. Hmm. Wow. Normal conversation. Some of these interactions are like, and also the general like dynamic here remind me of my life as a teenage robot. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is the same stuff. Okay. All right. Well, I missed that show. It was I a show that was ended too early. It just had such a nice visual style to it. I loved its style. And I wish it would just be released in some HD format, even if it was just available for streaming, but I don't think it is. I'm gonna go back in. Not in HD, anyway. I feel like it definitely could be. Don't forget to tell your mom about the tab. Hi, Joe. 
Yo, Gucci girl alone. Okay. All right. Nothing else to do here. Wait, how do I? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. There we go. Okay, it's a good reminder to save. It's been a while. Okay, let's go talk to my mama or talk. Look, your mom is waiting for you at the station. It looks like she's ready to go home. How is school? Fine. Anything interesting happen? Not really. You can't. You couldn't imagine burdening mom, or rather, burdening yourself with mom's knowledge of the happenings of the day. Besides, there's less than a week of school left. Whatever troubles you now will, whatever troubles you now will be washed away soon. I was thinking a lot about your father today. It's hard to be happy sometimes when those thoughts creep up. Yeah. I'd like to get an early dinner before we go home. I was thinking we could go to Applebee's or something. I thought of dinner with mom sounds good right now. Good enough to risk being seen at Applebee's with her. <laughs> but what if Staggle is oh, online looking for you? What if you completely miss talking to him tonight? Uh, I just want to go home. Oh. All oh, right. you should have gone to Applebee's. That would have been nice. Well, you gotta you gotta talk to the hot deerman. Do you have everything you need to do your homework? Yep. You're not carrying a backpack. Okay, good. <laughs> Mara, you're not even wearing a backpack. You must have something to bring home. Oh, right. It's in my locker. One sec. Wait, you have to go, go back there? Ah, uh, oh. this little charade. You figured eventually mom would leave you alone about doing your homework. It appears you still need to pretend. Does that mean you have to get your, uh, access your locker? You carefully enter the combo to your locker. You're greeted with a satisfying click as it opens. Oh. On the door of your locker, you keep a photo of you and Lily from about six years ago when you both when you went to see the movie I Love Trouble together. Aw, that's cute. Six years ago, though? You root to the bottom of your locker mess for items of interest. Most of it is either garbage, clothing that needs to be laundered, or grim reminders of your abandoned schoolwork. Ah, here we go. Blank notepad One of those and sharp. Notebooks. Yeah. These oh. items have an air of potential of good things yet to come. You pocket them. Nothing else in your lock really interests you. Should I, should I walk away then? Shouldn't I, I close guess. this locker? Okay, there okay. we go. Good, good. Like, I wonder, like, talking to people probably... Wow. Hugging your mother still feels incredible. A part of being an adult is denying yourself feelings of warmth and security. So you abstain. Wow. No. What were you going to say? I forgot. <laughs> well... Well, ready to go home. Yes, let's go home. Summer is almost here. No more snooty girls, no more nasty boys, just you and the island in your own pursuits. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Hey. Did you have a chance to get to the laundry? <laughs> no, I was just about to. Oh, all right. I guess I'll do it then. God damn it, Tim. Just give me a minute, Mom. Man, what a dick. Normally, you'd stick around and try to coach Mom into being inappropriately mad at him, but you don't want to get into, into it right now. You're breathlessly waiting to get online. Well, see you later. Are you having dinner here tonight? Yeah. You hear your mom's familiarly heavy exhale from the kitchen. So silent, yet it fills the room. Damn. Mom's so depressed. Tim Tim doesn't seem that worried that his or like that sad that his dad's dead. He's kinda just there. You Might know. be coping a different way. Yeah, maybe. 
He's just sitting around all day playing games. It's kind of escapist. The monitor greets you with its welcoming glow. Hmm. Staggle isn't online yet. There's a cluster of new activity in the forum. You read through these quickly, but avoid replying to anything. You don't want Staggle to know you've been around yet. Check back later, I guess. Oh, okay. Surprising. Well, it said the evening, right? Yeah. Like, you just barely got home from school. Long day, huh? What is it to you? Well, this, this screen is f vibrating like crazy. It's just a CRT in a, with a camera. <laughs> Timothy is, a, is watching a VH1 behind the music feature on Oasis. Oh, I can't even see mom. Wow. Oh, weird. I will, I will talk to her. Spaghetti okay for dinner? Spaghetti is literally the only dinner you and Timothy agree on. Delicious, plain spaghetti with Parmesan cheese. You know it. I can eat some spaghetti. Eat some spaghetti. But I think I re would still rather the Chinese food right now. Yeah. I think I'll probably try to eat some instant ramen or something later. Mmm. Instant Chinese I'm getting hungry, ramen. Right? <laughs> I mean, just something noodly and vaguely Asian. Vaguely Asian noodles. Yeah. The most attractive noodles. <laughs> vaguely Asian. Well, <laughs> I, I, uh, I feel like that only ever came up once when it, like in regards to Matt, but I, I'll remember it forever. <laughs> well, there, there aren't too many people I can even interact with in this world, so... Where are we headed? I'm just walking around. Just want to see if there's any progression happening. All right, because we are just needing We're killing time until it's time to talk to Stag. Yeah. It's time to talk to that hunk of a deer. Uh-huh. Hunk of hunk of chunk of deer. Maybe by the end of this game, you will be smooching on a deer, man. Maybe. No new wares today, huh? Shouldn't you be at school? No, I'm already home. Well, go back and learn some discretion. Okay, fuck you too. I'll never talk to you yeah, again. Yeah, like, why is he being so rude today all of a sudden? Go fuck yourself, weirdo. Too many people are just rude. Oh, hello. Hello, go so rude. Hello, it's Jackson. Hello, go teaman. It's just Jackson. <laughs> this could be me, actually. Wait. Is that it? Jack no, that's Jackson. Oh, it's Jackson. Okay, never mind. Jackson is sitting by the water, most likely taking a break from a shift. His eyes are dull and inattentive. I will talk to him then. Back from school? How was it? Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. I hate it so much. I want to drop out and run away so bad. Mm, that's how I felt about it. I always stayed in for my mom's sake, really. Ah. Uh, but going out is a pain in the ass, too. Gotta fill your life with something. School gives you time to think about it, you know? Well, well that's not a problem for me. I know I'm gonna be a writer. Gotcha. So you need cash. Right. You know, there's a job opening on the island. Oh. Really? Where? The town bar, past the schoolhouse. Billy's looking for busters for the tourist season. Oh, sick. You always wanted a job on the island. You fantasize about operating the soda fountain, asking people if everything's all right, turning chairs upside down at the end of the night, and letting mm. your paychecks accumulate unspent for months. That would be great. Cool. Well, let me know if you get it. I want VIP access to that daiquiri machine. Of course, dude. I won't forget you. <laughs> I like that. I like that they're like really mild friendship. Yeah. <laughs> In your mind, the job is already yours. It's perfect walking distance from home, a fun and exciting work environment. Plus, you've known the owner since you were born. You better hurry over before the position is filled. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hello. Hello, oh, new, new people. people. You're pretty sure these guys these guys work at the school and are just leaving for the night. The conspicuous umbrella in one of their hands makes you wonder if the weather is about to change. Oh, only one of them. Maybe are. we can talk to them as a unit. Does it look like rain? 
The pair nods somberly as if this has been long understood. <laughs> hmm. I'm not so good at predicting the weather myself. I lack the sense for it, you know, and I fall asleep instantly if I look at the weather channel, which isn't so great for memory retention. It hardly matters if it rains anyway, since you're so close to home. But how can you resist thrilling the locals with your charisma? They're not saying anything. This feels this feels like Kickstarter people. Yeah, th- they must be Kickstarter people. <laughs> because they didn't have any dialogue, they just nodded. Man, they're smiling. Yeah. What's or the one of them anyway. the Ms. Pierce's b- 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 bye. <laughs> Having a conversation like outside the, the building. Yeah. Can't even see. Ooh. You. Oh Is shit. Is that Billy? Oh, this Dang. music. This music's fucking sick. This music slaps the fuck out of shit. <laughs> yeah. This Billy Bingle, owner and proprietor of this bar. Billy is a frighteningly large man. Even in a seated state, his size intimidates you. But he was a caring friend to your oh, father. Base. And mom is fond of him. Simon is hanging out on the porch with Billy. He's drinking what appears to be not his first beer. I'll talk to Simon first. That sound means progression, I guess. Maybe. It feels very mature to approach two grown men who are drinking. You hope you're being casual enough. Hi, Simon. Hi, Billy. What are you up to, Mara? Just finishing up with school this week. How about you? We're having a business meeting, kid. Can't you see? Your heart skips for an instant as you realize you must be annoying them. Oh, sorry. I'll... (laughs) <laughs> Never gets old. What can I do for you, kid? Oh, he's one of those guys. Okay. <laughs> I saw your help wanted ad. I'd like to apply for a job. Billy and Simon exchange a knowing look that sends shills down your spine. Oh, no. Have you said something wrong? You don't want to work for this piece of shit, Mara. You'd be better off in the waste management business. This establishment serves alcohol. What kind of a job could I give to a 15-year-old kid? Oh, he has a twitch in his le- in his left eye. Or oh, he blinks yeah. he blinks asynchronously. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Good little detail. Well, I could bust tables or clean. I'm also I'm almost 16 also. Yeah, I don't want to clean this place in the summer, kid. It's not worth the money. It is to me. Billy's good humored smile begins to morph into genuine concern. Any problems at home? Huh? Does your mom need money, Mara? You're at a loss for words. Of course, you need money. You have none of your own. Your mother? Nobody's ever asked you a question like this. You never even considered an answer. Is your brother helping out? Oh, well, not really. Timothy just sits on his ass all day. Seriously? You kidding me? Billy's scalp pulses as anger grows. Oh, he's one of these oh, guys. Shit. He's one of these guys. Who oh, hate, no. He hates injustice. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, Bill. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he sleeps at night. No need a drain on your mother. After all, she's been through. She, he's been through it too, Bill. Maybe he's depressed. No, he's just lazy. Mara. He is. Sounds like laziness to me. Sure, Bill, that's it. Everyone's lazy, just dicking around. The only virtue is work, isn't it, Bill? I hope not. You'd already be in hell by now. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Who's going to clean that up? Maybe Mara in her new job. Whoa, I'm not going to say that. Whoa there. Yeah. I will not say that. I don't want to say that. Uh, It wasn't even your job to say that. Oh, God. Uh, Let's just skip this line. Okay. Ooh, ooh, stupid wood bundle. <laughs> uh, uh, stupid, stupid treacle, trico, badoof, Tre- trico. stupid badoof. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why badoof? I don't know. <laughs> badoof is not deserving of being equated to a slur. It's true. I got to go. Is a good, is, badoof is a good boy. Badoof, badoof. He's only ever been a good boy. I gotta go. Uh, well, these uh, guys are still having the time of their life. They're still smiling. Do, 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 well, do. so no money. No money problem solved. No money, mo, mo, no, no money, no problems. 
So there's no arc where you become like a waiter and or a server and you know, uh-huh. know get into shenanigans is. that way. Oh, oh, Simon didn't go home. Okay. Hmm. Maybe he's Simon the Driller. I have this sinking feeling that what if like you find your quote unquote best friend Lily like in a relationship with some other dude on the island that you already know like simon like simon or jackson or mm, that could happen that could happen or timothy timothy oliphant uh, okay now sometimes when the go cursor is like off in the distance i'm fooled into thinking that you have somehow teleported into the far mm -hmm. Into the horizon. Oh, fuck. I did it again. Uh. I will. I will. I will go home then. Let's talk to Timothy and tell him about how mad he made the guy. Spaghetti. Okay. Wait, go uh, to talk to Staggle now. Oh, yeah. I was about to go home. Go, go. Good thing you've been able to connect to the internet once and just stay connected on a internet 56k connection forever. Yeah, that's how that's how AOL definitely worked back then, where you could just stay yeah. online all the time and it would not be inconvenient at all. My parents just stopped using their phone. Using their yeah, yes, yes. They, they just stopped. Well, who calls anymore? No, I mean, like, while I was using... During that era where I was using AOL so much, they just stopped using their phone. Oh. They were just like, ah. Like, out of consideration for you? They were also just like, ah. Like, every time... Because, no, like, yeah, because, like, phone use just generally dropped, like, naturally for us, too. Yeah. Because all the callers oh. turn out to be spam or something. Oh, there's Simon the Driller. Simon is sulking over by the boats. You've seen him do this before. He seems really upset this time. Who else does he talk to? You sidle up to Simon in the hopes that your very presence will lift his spirits. When he doesn't react, you scramble for a comfortable topic. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say Billy's an asshole. Even though he said that word. Mm. I, I will say I love this boat. I love this boat. Me too. I wish I could just live on a boat and sail around as I please. Why don't you? It's impractical in this climate and expensive beyond reason. Oh, what does a boat cost? This one? More than I've ever made or spent in my life. What about like a, a rowboat with a tent in it or something? Yeah, that's about what I deserve. <laughs> I shouldn't have to stick up for my brother. He's an asshole to me. I know that, Mara, but you just don't. Never mind. What does Simon know? He seems like he knows more than. Yeah, or he seems to have like a personal it's like the... understanding yeah, of something. There's some sort of awareness he has that it's just interesting. It's either that or, like, he himself has some personal hang-up that he relates to in regards to Tim. I don't know. Yeah. You don't have the words to keep Simon from being disappointed in you. You start to think about how little he understands. Has he forgotten you don't even have a dad? Nobody understands. You're completely alone. Timothy's never, ever been nice to me. Ever. So fuck him. And mom likes him so much better anyway. I just want to get away and have my own life. Oh, she's crying. Mara. Mara, listen to me. You went through the same thing together. You, your mom, and Timothy. I'm not saying you need to be friends. Just that you have something that bonds you. You could spend your whole life looking for a bond like that. Dang. Then I'll spend my life looking for it, because it's not here. I wish you luck. Well, thanks for coming down here to talk to me. 
your wretched state makes me feel needed. You realize, too late, that you came out here to comfort Simon, but he ended up tending to you. You wish he was your brother. Want me to walk you home? No, I'm fine. Okay. Good night, Mara. Well, he's just ni- so he's just a nice guy. Seemingly. Yeah. Well, probably has suffered a bit of trauma. Oh, of his it's, own. A, it's a rain on. We don't know the state of his parents. Yeah. The spring rain sets in rapidly, drowning out any remnants of activity in the bay. You wonder if it's raining where Staggle is. Someone was just trying to walk and it just drowned him out. <laughs> Ooh. All these rain effects. Cool. You better get home before the rain gets worse. I will. Thanks for keeping me on track, game. Do that more. Yeah, let's do it. Do that more. So I don't have to think. <laughs> Oh, yeah. looks like family dinner is already over. Oh, that's sad. I want now build your own snowman. You see, you open out the of fridge the and baskets. Get the snow from behind the tire and make your own. Really, I can't make spaghetti. I can't eat. There's no leftover spaghetti. Oh no! Wait, we still haven't talked to Staggle, have we? No, but that's a, I think that's the assumption here. But I'm just like, oh, I missed dinner. No one left any dinner for me? Aww. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, I'll talk to... It's Staggle. fine, you're a video game character. You don't need to eat. Uh, I'll just talk to my online crush instead. Why not? He's that's online. all you've been thinking about all day. He's online. Talk to him. Back of your neck tingles. Cold energy runs through you. Message him. All right. Here goes. Hi. It's a lot of typing for that. Odd cut out to this wide shot. Oh. Oh my God. It's giving a portrait now. Whoa. Hi, PT. He's here. This is happening. How are you? A smiley face. Oh, that's too that's too bold, too too smiley. It's been a long day, but I'm feeling better now. Aw, well, that's good. Same here. Good. So what are you doing tonight? Just downloading some songs, checking the forum. Maybe gonna write in a bit. If you're busy, we can talk another time. No! I want to talk to you. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. What? Digital. Well, what's up? Uh, <laughs> that, that ended one like a yeah. slack jawed. You're starting to lose your nerve. You'd hoped you were already being forward enough for him to get the message. Does Stackle only like you as a friend? Maybe you've got this all wrong. You suddenly feel very stupid. You've never even asked if he had a girlfriend. For all you know, he has plenty of other things to do tonight. To be fair, all of this was started off because she just had a dream. Yeah. And so, yeah, a lot of this is somewhat baseless. Yeah, he's just kind of just making... She's just making shit up. Like, the, 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 the main thing, like, to support a romance here is that he complimented her writing once. That's about it. Yeah. Are you okay, PT? Things seem... Oh, it's you. So. Things seem different lately. Different? Yeah. Between us, I mean. Oh. Oh. Ah. Your pulse doubles. The screen doubles. seems to be drifting away from your face, detaching from the material world. I've noticed it, too. Oh. Oh shit, who is that? Oh, Mara, dinner. No, oh, you didn't miss dinner. Uh, can I have it in here? You may as well, since we're already done. Here it is. Oh, oh, that's nice. Can you gather your laundry while I'm here? I, I will in a minute. At least give me your panties and bras. Mom, I'll do it later.
listen, PT, I'm just gonna up and say it. <gasps> say what? Oh, dang. <sighs> the truth is, I like you. As more than a friend, I mean. I really like you. You begin to type a response, deleting it multiple times. Oh no. I never imagined you'd be hearing these words, let alone giving a reply. I like you too. <gasps> I don't know what else to say. Well, me neither. <laughs> I'm so happy you told me. I've been wanting to. I know. Me too. God, what's the twist? It's gonna be her brother or something? <laughs> oh God, <laughs> fuck no. Ugh. Everyone on the forum has been teasing me about this for a while. They could tell there was something between us. How do you- How? No. What? Yeah, this is like instant messaging between them, so isn't no it? No one's like hanging out in a, like a virtual space or something. Well, I mean, it, it was it was saying that she leaves like lots of replies on the forums and whatever. It was just weird that they would be interacting directly with each other to that degree yeah. that people would notice. Really? <laughs> Where do we tell them? You imagine with delight how your online friends will react. The two of you will have a lot of clout as a couple. They're power fanfic couple. <laughs> Everyone's online. We could do it right now. Not yet. I just want to be with you for a while longer. Staggle. <laughs> Are we going to get a real name? What's your real name? Oh, he didn't even take that opportunity to say like, yeah, I'm a B BT dubs. Wow. You don't remember saying goodnight or falling asleep. You don't remember dreaming. Only a feeling of warmth and safety. And most of all, a feeling of... You bitch! <laughs> oh no, who said this? For why? Oh shit. The fuck did you tell Billy? What? Billy the bar owner, you goddamn moron. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, is Billy a liar then? You access your just booting memory banks trying to make sense of who Billy is, what you might have told him, and whether or not you'd consider him a liar. Does your mom need money, Mara? Shit. You're telling people I'm lazy? I'm just a mooch off my family? No! You told him mom's broke? What the fuck is wrong with you, Mara? What the fuck? You haven't seen your brother this mad in a long time. I didn't say any of that. Mom is furious, you know. Wait, he gets to do that? Why does he get to do that? That's weird. Yeah, it's weird that it's his call. I'm turning off your internet for the whole summer. No, you're not! It's already done. You need to find something else to do with your life. Mom thinks so too. You have no right to do this. Whoa. Talk to anyone about me and I'll kick your fucking ass. Consider yourself lucky this time. What does the internet have to do with this? It's an innocent bystander. Beat me up, goddammit. Just don't take my internet. Staggle! Staggle, no! How are we gonna have our hot deer makeouts now? Summer. Wow, all that in one season change? Wow, well, that's a fun way to do summer. Oh, yeah, we began with spring. Yeah. Oh, there's Simon. Oh. Do you see that jump, Simon? That water looks pretty good. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. I don't think you looked. I need to focus on my fucking tan. The crowd's descending on this island any day now. Speaking of which, you know the deal. Won't be able to use the pool once Mitch gets here. Yeah, I know. When's he coming, anyway? Pretty soon. 
whenever his very important work is done. Simon's boyfriend is also a writer, but older than... Oh, I didn't know he was gay. Oh, okay. Well, uh. That would be probably why that guy, Billy said what he said. Oh, but the fact that he was already in a relationship no. with someone... Oh, that makes it even worse. Oh, no. Well, when I... I I took it to mean it's maximum immediately. Oh, no. Simon's boyfriend is also a writer, but older than him. You only ever see him in the summertime. The rest of the year, Simon visits Mitch in the city, and they correspond through email. Well, t- which technically means Simon has an online boyfriend, just like you. You know how many calories swimming burns? I really want to get hot for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bait me to comment on your appearance, Mara. Besides, you're too late. Summer's already here. There's this workout tape I want to get where you lose 15 pounds in 30 days, guaranteed. At that rate, I could be hot by July. I think I need a nap. Why don't you check out the scene downtown before it gets too crazy? Too crazy? (laughs) That that animation is pretty good. Oh, yeah. It's already been down there. I've already been down there today. There's nothing to do around here with my internet cut off. So she's just been dealing with it? Yeah. Without access to Staggle? Oh, she told him, told him about him. Okay. Why don't you write that boy a letter? Your head must be full of insane teenage feelings right now. Hmm. I guess I could show him what my handwriting looks like. That's the spirit. Off you go. That's an idea. I've been writing... I've been, it's been years since you wrote anyone a... Wait, it's been years since you wrote anyone a letter. Now if you just knew where Staggle lived... Oh, God. That takes some real stalking energy. Oh, she's going to ask. Uh, can I use your internet before I go? Yes, just be quick. I'm running low on minutes for the month. And please keep that wet t-shirt off the couch. Okay, cool. Well, that's as good as any place to end for now. Oh, your hand is a different color. Oh, summer colors. Weird. Oh, oh it matches wait, it your just shirt. Takes on, yeah, it yeah. just takes your color. Yeah, okay. I like that. I like that. Okay. Well, that's a good place to stop for now, I think. Alrighty. Um, it's got this. It's got the typical growing pains of, uh, an adventure game, where you're like, what is that? Is that how that works or not? But I don't know if you could call those growing pains. Yeah, or like like uh, the adventure genre has done all the growing it yeah. should have done by now. <laughs> not growing pains, I guess. Um. Just, just it's just the typical idi- like foibles. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. Well, issues that are inherent to the genre, as far as we know. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll get back to this later. We'll see you guys then. Goodbye, everyone. Take care.